Hello friends, once again welcome to bsptrainings.com. My name is Amit Sharma and today I am going to show you how do you test multiple hybrid instances into one system. In the previous session I shown you how you can install multiple Oracle EPMA instances into one computer, to one system and today I am going to show you how do you test it. I am also going to show you how do you test multiple instances in iSpace, multiple instances of HFM but in one Windows server, you cannot have multiple instances of IPM planning according to Oracle documentation. I give a document ID over here as well. Although it is possible in Unix by creating two separate users, you can configure two separate instances in different ports of planning. However, on the Windows, it is not possible as planning installed in the Windows services. So therefore, you can have only one instance at a time. Well, I'm going to show you in my virtual machine. So I installed two instances of HyperN, and this is a snapshot of my both instances ports I used. This is my instance one, and this is my instance second. Right? I have taken a snapshot. So you see over here, my ports are increment by one. For example, the port used over here for shared service is 28080. However, the port used over here in the second instance is automatically 28081. Right, so automatically during installation of second instance, I space increment by one port. This is a focus area. So all the ports used, right, is got increased by one, including I space administration service, which runs on 180 port, and here it is 10081 port. Right, so uh, I configure two instances, and this is a snapshot of both the batch uh, ports, right. When you install multiple instances of IPN, okay, you can find an instance folder under uh, user project. So under user project, Oracle middleware, the user project, I found two folder over here, EPM instance one, instance two. So except the Oracle common files, you can find all the binaries and executive files have got two instances, instance one, and I can open another instance over here as well together. So you need to start both instances separately. Okay, after you start your foundation service, after you start your share, your uh, web logic server, you can start both instances independently based on your need. So I started both uh, instances. When you start both instances, you can find the both instances services running in your web logic server. So you see, I've got two instances of Aspace administration service, two instances of foundation, and two instances of planning. It looks to me as if there are two instances, 8300 and 8301 port. However, in this example, I configure only one instance of web logic. In next example, I show you multiple HFM, uh, sorry, multiple instance of HFM. I configure one instance of HFM, right? Let me correct here. Now, once you check all the service up and running, you can log into both the instances separately. For example, I log in with first with my workspace. Uh, both instance I open 2080 and 28081. Right, one instance you can use for development, and another one you can use for your QA. Right, so you see one instance of my 2080 port, and another instance running on 28081. Similarly, you can check you got two instances of uh, space administration services. One is running on 10080 port. And uh, another one is running on 10081 port. I log in both the uh, open both the instances, and we see admin and default is password. I open another instance over here of Airspace Administration Service. This is my second instance. If you look at carefully, my first instance is running on 14214234, and second instance one is running on 1424 port. 1423 and 1424. I added both the instance under one Aspace administration service. You can also see there's under administration service, there's only one Aspace administration service. I can right click and add another one. Name of your server and the default port 10080. 
So I have two instances of S space administration service and two instances of S space, right? Here also I've got two instances of S space. Now you see something interesting over here. When I've got two instances, I also created two instances of planning and I installed vision application. You see the vision application is available under S space with the port 1423. The same vision application I did not create over here, isn't it? So you got two S base instances. You can simply right click and add as many instances as you want. Just change the port number. You can add multiple instances. Okay. So I've got two S base instances, which has one has got vision application, another one does not have vision application, right? So we tested two S base, two foundation services, two S base administration services. Now we see the planning, and here comes the interesting part. So when I log into planning application on independent port, uh, name of my server and eight three double zero. I log into my planning application, simplified interface. Once one one work on eight three double zero port, and another work on eight three zero one port. And this is what I find interesting thing over here. Okay. Take a little time to open. Right. In first instance, I could see the planning vision application. In second instance, I can also see the same vision application, but I did not configure my vision application for this instance. So planning has got one instance automatically, but S space administration service, foundation service, HFM, and S space, all of them has got two instances. Do you see something interesting? I did not create my planning application for second S space server 1424, but it is visible over here under 238300 vision application, and you see the same vision application. Maybe I need to look at this. It is not starting it. And the same vision application you see in the another instance. And hence, though you can have multiple instance of S space in one server, you can have multiple instance of S space administration services, HFM service, but you cannot have multiple instance of IPN planning. You can also open the planning application directly from here under workspace. You see our planning application. In the first instance and second instance of planning application from here. Right? And this way, whenever you're configuring multiple instances of IPN product, make a note of it. In Windows, we cannot have multiple instances of planning, though you can have multiple instances of S space and other component as well. So that's it. Thanks for watching today's video. Should you have any question, please write to us. You can visit to our site www.bsvtrainings.com. Thank you and have a great day ahead.